Hi guys, this is Black Sheep Girl. I just wanted to pray in the name of Jesus Christ for those girls uh, or any anybody who's been sexually abused or um, any abuse. Please, Lord, help me pray. And for those who are in this Hanukkah organization and are God's people, please, I pray you renounce this stuff. That, that uh, you were a part of. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray along with your people, Lord. I put on the helmet of salvation. I take up the shield of faith. I grab myself and I, and I grab myself the truth. I take up the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. Yeah, so I put on the helmet of the salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, I give myself a truth, and I get the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. I share my faith with the gospel of peace, with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and Jesus is my rear guard. Demons, evil spirits have been taunting you and harassing you for so long. You have, you have power in Jesus' name to command them to leave. Even ones who don't know exist. Even ones who, um, if you were in a messianic organization, even ones who could have been put upon you, or if you were sexually abused or in abuse in any way, they could have been put upon you when you were just a little child. So rebuke them and renounce them in the name of Jesus Christ and ask the Lord to send his warning angels to help you, and he will. I pray for God's people that they will see, um, yeah, they will see the love you put over them, and the, and the power you've given them in your name. Not that they can sell or buy anything from you, but that you give them a gift. Lord, you saved us. We have power in your name, Jesus, to renounce, to rebuke, and renounce all evil spirits, all demons, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray these people can see that they are worth more than they think they are. Whatever the people, person told them, people told them when they were little, or whatever anyone told them that they were in a Masonic organization, Lord Jesus. We, I, we just come together and pray. You said where well, there's two or more together, I will be in the midst of them. There's two or more together. I pray in the name of Jesus, you would give your people encouragement. Those people who feel like they can't do anything, like nobody wants them. Lord, you want them. You saved them, Lord. Please have mercy, Lord Jesus. Help them to, to call out for your help. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you and praise you, Lord. Don't listen to the enemy telling you stuff or saying things to you. You're not worth it or this or that because you are. Because Jesus died for you. If Jesus died for you, how much more are you worth? You're worth a lot. You're one of his little lambs. And he, he loves you. And if you don't know Jesus, cry out to him and be saved right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray over people who want to be saved and they don't know how. You just lead them, people who don't. They feel like they're atheists or whatever. I just pray you just break their heart of stone in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray you will, you will help them not to be afraid. And I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Please, Lord, give us scriptures we can think of when, or that we can remember so we can have a song in our heart. And that will be right from your word. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Demons, they want to tell us that we're not worth anything, that we can't do anything, that, we, that this could happen or that could happen and make us be afraid all the time. But you are with us, and you, you don't want us to live in fear. You want us to live in faith. I praise you in the name of Jesus Christ. I praise you. Jesus Christ for your people and for those who uh, are coming to see to be saved by you 
uh, are close to being saved. I pray in Jesus Christ, their ritual burial in the in the ground will not be removed by Satan or anyone, and they will have strong roots in you, and they will have such strong roots they will be bold and filled with courage, and they will grow up and witness. They will not be afraid. Not people or evil spirits, demons, whatever will keep them from doing your will, will keep them from witnessing. You will raise up people who have uh, great courage because you gave it to them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your church is being stomped on by demons, Lord. I pray, Lord, you will help us to see it. And we can re we can review can renounce these spirits, Lord, because we have power in your name. You gave us power to to come against them. You gave us power to come against them. I want to read um, Ephesians real quick here. Well, yeah, I want to read it for you. Okay. Um, so I want to... I want to read this, and I'm going to read the ESV. So, here it is, Ephesians 6, and I'm just going to uh, read part of it, okay? It says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against their cosmic powers over this present day darkness, against, over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Don't let people tell you, oh, you know, Christian, whatever. You have power in Jesus, only in Jesus. It's not, it's not our power that we get to have because, like, we it, we got a sticker or something. It's because Jesus, when we got saved, He gave it to us. We are His adopted children. We should stand in the power He gave us. His blood cleanses us. If I'm all unrighteousness, we can pray that God will help us and not, not be afraid. If you're afraid, call out, Jesus, Jesus, and he'll hear you. And he'll heal, he'll help you. He'll come to your aid. I've heard stories about headhunters and other types of people who were going to kill people. And they saw an angel. They didn't even know who it was or what it was. They just saw a very tall person. I come against witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have no power over Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke you and renounce you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shut the door. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, your people are being... Uh, your people have... Uh, they have what you've given them, Lord. Help us to be strong and take courage, Lord. Help us not to be afraid, Lord. Help us to keep persevering on in your name, Jesus. Please, Lord, I pray in your name. It would give us, give us some courage to keep fighting the battle and not be afraid or ashamed, Lord. I thank you. The enemy hates when women cover their hair because he loves to look at their bodies and their hair. It even says in the Bible how um, the, the Nephilim got to pick wives that they wanted and, and giants were born. I just rebuke all this stuff that the world is teach, trying to teach people and tell the Christians that they have no, no power that, you know, telling them, things like that and I pray in your name Jesus you'd remind us who we are in you Lord I pray for anybody who's been uh, abused as a child Lord it was, wasn't their fault and they didn't deserve to keep walking in that guilt or whatever was placed upon them I pray in your name that they would boldly rise up and rebuke the spirits uh, the demons that were placed over them by whoever it was masons or or whoever it was, Lord Jesus, I thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Please help me to be able to speak and not be afraid. Dear God, no matter what anybody says, no matter what, how many dislikes, no matter whatever, nothing matters but you, Lord Jesus. I thank you and praise you.
and I pray that you would bring a remnant of people to be saved to you, to um to do your will, to to witness. I thank you, Jesus. They will rise up and, and they will be your children and they will not be afraid. They will go forth and encourage. Be strong and take courage. Do not fear or be dismayed. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you for loving us. Jesus loves you. If you're one of his children, he loves you no matter what. You may think that he doesn't love you, but even if you sinned, call out to him and ask him for for uh, forgiveness. He won't say, well, maybe. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or maybe a year from now. He will forgive you. Let us be the, the bold witnesses that we are called to be in Jesus' name and not be afraid and not be ashamed. In Jesus' name, I praise you, Jesus. I thank you for help encouraging me to do whatever it is you want me to do. And Lord, I pray for those who are seeking, that they will not stop. They will not stop seeking. I pray over them that you would just encourage them. You would just um, pull them closer and closer to you, and they would be saved, Lord. And nothing will stop them. Nothing will stop them from being saved, Lord. And the remnant of people will be saved, Lord. Call them out of the, you call them out of this world, Lord Jesus. And those spirits have no power when it comes to Jesus. Look at those spirits. They they were in that man. And they said, let us go into the pigs. Because they don't want to be in the abyss. And they're afraid of Jesus. Jesus wants you to not walk in fear. I've walked in fear for so long. That it was basically, it's been natural. I don't want to walk in fear anymore. I want to walk in faith. In love. I want to walk in love and encourage my brothers and sisters. I want to walk in. I want to walk in love and in faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, help us not to be ashamed of you and your gospel. I praise you in your name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise you, Jesus. For you are holy. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for loving us even when we were told that we were unlovable. You know, when we were told that we could never be loved. Lord, I pray that those who've been held captive by demons and by abuse from their childhood and whatever, um, maybe um, abuse in their marriage, that you will remind them who they are in you and that you have power to heal marriages. You have power to heal relationships. You have power to heal people. I praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help us to stand in your word and not be afraid of any, anyone or anything, even if we have to die in Jesus' name, even if we have to give our lives. Let it be for Jesus. And let us not be afraid. Let us go in boldness and perseverance in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. As you're saved, I pray God will be with you and watch over you and keep you safe. And if you don't know Jesus, I pray that you will, uh, that you will start reading the Bible. Just start reading it. Just start reading it. Just start reading it. And God will help you. There's only one way. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus is the only way. Walk, walk on his road in the narrow way. In Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. Bye. I hope this helped somebody out there to know that you're loved by Jesus. Or more than somebody. In Jesus' name, I pray.